So whoever had the idea to start selling news was really smart and also a little bit lazy. Just think about all those guys writing original stories and then they look over at their friend who's just writing down whatever someone else said that you didn't hear. I call it Debra. A lot of people have stopped watching the news because they say it reminds them of all the things that they can't do anything about. But, you know, these same people complain about their wives. So I, I well, I suppose it's better than the rest of us who get up in the morning with their cup of coffee and watch the world destroy itself. It's a little barbaric. And people say that the news has an agenda. I'm like, yeah, to sell news. I have a rule. Never trust anybody who makes money from you trusting them. That's why me and my doctor have such a strained relationship. Cancer's not real. I mean, I watch the news for the same reason I watch something like the Super Bowl. You get a bunch of grown men in the room who act like kids and beat each other up, and plus, the commercials are entertaining. But really, if aliens came to the Earth and the first thing they saw was our news, they would be expecting a world where everything blows up and our political leaders are fighting against us, interrupted by gossip about who's marrying who. I've been looking for one of these. So a lot of newspapers are going online. That makes about as much sense as a drive through doing deliveries or an ashtray on a motorcycle. And then some perky meteorologist tells you about the cold front that's coming in. Meteorology is the only field of science where teeth whitening is an actual business expense. That's the Alamo, by the way. <laughs> and so I say, it's probably not a great day to cross the border. Is that funny? I thought it might be, but, you know, I wasn't sure. Have, have I talked to you about the most used nouns in the world? No, you haven't. Okay, because this is interesting. 